story happens like this. We always try to bring in a medical expert to broaden our knowledge here, and we have one for you this afternoon. Dr. Matesh Borat is here from the Mayo Clinic. He is a pancreatic cancer specialist. Dr. Borat, thank you for being here. You're welcome. We appreciate your time. Let's talk about this study a little bit. Uh, it's a pretty expansive study, at least in a layperson's opinion. 6,000 people, and they also combined 11 different studies. What's your visceral opinion of it? Yeah, so whenever you have to combine a number of studies, to make some sort of a conclusion, that tells you immediately that the association may be there, but it's not as strong as perhaps one would say smoking with lung cancer, where it's much more obvious, and you didn't even need 11 studies. You could have probably made the conclusion from one. Okay, the culprit here seems to be nitrates. What effects do nitrates have on our body, and specifically with our pancreas? Nitrates in general have been shown to cause da cellular damage, okay. um, and this has been linked to many other cancers previously, such as stomach cancer or bladder cancer. So in a way, it's not surprising that there is a risk even with a new cancer identified now, which is pancreatic cancer. So a question for you here, do you err on the side of no processed meats, or when you're talking to patients, do you say, listen, if you want the ham or the turkey or anything like that, salami, pepperoni, try to get the products that have no nitrates? Well, in an ideal world, it would be to, you know, have no processed meats. Right. That's, that's sure. probably not realistic. Right. Um, you know, we have Chase Field right here, so if I were to go to the ball game and you were to ask me if I were to have a hot dog, I'd probably tell you the truth that, you know, I, I, I probably would have that hot dog, but maybe I'd add a salad to it and just be more conscious about my food choices in general. Talk to us about how aggressive pancreatic cancer is and also give us a little bit of a breakdown in terms of ages, gender, and the risk of, uh, of it being fatal. Uh, one of the reasons this study brought so much attention was it's <clears throat> that if you do get diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, it's almost a death sentence because your chance of dying from it uh, is pretty much the chance that you got diagnosed. Mm. Uh, if you look at a person's lifetime risk, that's between 1 and 2 percent. So of all the people who pass away in the U.S. in any year, about 1 or 2 percent of those people are for pancreatic cancer. Okay. It's a disease of older people, generally people in their 60s and 70s, about as common in men and women. Uh, the biggest risk factor known is smoking. Uh, and then some of these dietary risk factors are coming into play now. Okay. Dr. Borad, we appreciate your insight. Thank you for coming down today. You're welcome.